Hello, I'm Dr. Lavender. Yes, like the flower. How are you doing? A little nervous. That's totally normal. Well, I'm gonna try my hardest to not make you any more nervous. <laughs> um, can I get your last name really quick? Okay, and your date of birth making sure I'm in the right room. Okay, perfect. So, as you know, our clinic specializes in helping people who have medical anxiety or any fear surrounding doctors, tests, um, hospitals in general. As you can see, we are in a more cozy, dark room than your normal white sterile hospital room. We have some plants. Plants are supposed to calm a lot of people down actually. So let me look at your chart really quick. There's actually quite a few things we've changed from a normal hospital, which I will tell you about. That's a number one thing with people who have doctor and hospital anxiety is not knowing what's going to happen, so I will be 100% transparent, 100% upfront. Any questions you have, concerns, theories, anything at all, do not hesitate to bring them up with me, okay? Don't forget, we are a team, okay? We are working together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it looks like you're here just for a general physical, is that right? Can I know when the last time you got a physical was? Okay, so sometime. Oh, that's totally fine. everything that I'm doing, but I will go a little fast because I know you probably don't want this to drag out. One fun thing that we do in our clinic to kind of mask the hospital smell, you know, the alcohol, the cleaning supplies, things like that, is we light a candle for you during your checkup. So we have a bunch of different scents and you get to choose what you want the room to smell like while we're, while I'm doing my thing. So I have a black cedar candle, which is a little musky. I have a lovely mint candle. I have a lavender candle, funny enough. Do any of those stand out to you? Well, let's let you smell them. Here's our cute little lavender candle. Take a smell. Okay. And then black cedar. It's pretty nice too, right? And then we have a brand new mint candle. You like this one the most? It's my favorite. So I will get that lighted for you. So, before we begin, let's just take a moment to take a deep breath. Just know again that we are a team working together. Um, and as you know, this is a free clinic which means that when we're done, you can just walk out of here. You don't even have to see the receptionist. Everything is completely free. Anything that comes up, not that anything will, will be completely free. So, again, let's take a deep breath. Okay. 
Okay, smells pretty good, right? Just to set some further expectations, like I said, I will be touching you according to how much you feel comfortable with. I will be doing it very gently, sort of quickly. We will have a questionnaire segment, and then we will move on to a general inspection of the face. Check your, your senses, your eyes, your ears, your mouth. I will do a quick check of the body, press on your stomach. I will be taking your vitals, which is your temperature, your checking your lungs, checking your oxygen, things like that. Okay, none of it will be painful. And there will be there will be no needles, nothing like that. So we're we ready? Perfect, okay. Let's start. Let's put on my gloves. Even our gloves at this clinic are special. They are not latex. They are vinyl, which means they don't have that latex smell. Also, just to let you know, it's to be expected that your heart rate will be a little high. That's totally fine. And at any point, if you want to stop, reschedule the entire appointment. If it feels too overwhelming, we can also do that. Okay? Alright, so. Okay, do I have permission to touch you? Alright, just going to check out the face. And my nurse got your height and weight, correct? Okay, she got your height but not your weight. Did you... you declined? No, that's totally fine. I wish more people knew that that was an option. If you don't want us to take your weight, that's fine, unless it's medically necessary. questions, but if you don't want to talk at all, that's also fine, okay? You can just nod or shake your hand. Everything is looking good. We are going to take those vitals now. First, your temperature. Place it under your tongue. All right, you are good there. The next, I'm going to clip this guy on your finger, an ox oximeter, which will get your oxygen and your heart rate. So let me get your hand there. Clip that on. You have great oxygen and your heart rate's a little high, but that is totally understandable. I'm gonna put down that number anyways, but I don't think it's necessarily indicative of anything at all. Most of our clients actually come in with very high blood pressure, very high heart rates, and that's something we kind of adjust for. Alright, so I'm going to take your blood pressure. Just 
going to wrap this around your arm. Can you uncross your legs, please? All right. There we go. All right, and also, I did want to mention that if you have any questions or concerns that you want to bring up later after the appointment, you can just send me a little note in our online portal. We don't have to schedule a whole new appointment and have you come in. We can answer simple questions over our online portal. I know some clinics charge you a full visit just to answer some questions, but that's not us. Okay, so I'm going to place this on your arm here. And we're going to inflate it. It might get a little tight. It'll be quick. Okay. But again, to be expected, let me check in again. How are you feeling? Do you want to take another deep breath with me? If not, that's totally fine. Yeah? Okay, so let's do a big belly breath. Hold it for a second this time. And then exhale as long as you can. Okay? So let's go. Sometimes I do some visualization exercises where I imagine literally the anxiety or bad energy or whatever you want to call it leaving my body as I exhale. Because believe it or not, I get anxiety with doctors sometimes too. Yeah, no, I do. I do. It's weird. It kind of runs in my family. I think all it takes is like one bad interaction with the doctor where they talk down to you, they don't take you seriously, to kind of really give you anxiety, or maybe you're a hypochondriac, not you, but someone, and you're just really scared of what potential thing the doctor could diagnose you with, and medication, so I'm just saying that I completely understand, okay? So let's get this off you. So, I'm going to give a quick listen to your lungs and your stomach. This will feel a little cold. We can do it through your shirt or under it, whatever you're most comfortable with. Perfect. So, I'm just going to place this on your chest. Now take a nice, strong lungs. Again, please. Okay, and once more on your back. All right. Now I'm going to place this on your belly. Just listen for a second. <laughs> you do have a gurgly tummy. Yes, I do too. but nothing out of the ordinary. Alright, so all your vitals are looking amazing. Now what we're going to do is just do some facial exercises, okay? So can you smile really big? Frown. Scrunch your eyebrows together. 
good. Can you close your eyes and then don't let me open them, okay? So I'm gonna touch you again. Now try to open. Perfect. Everything looks good. Do you have anything at all you want to bring up? Any concerns? Anything weird or different going on? Okay, so a little bit of pain in your shoulder. Can I feel? Do you play any sports? Okay, I'm gonna press it like this. Does that hurt? Okay. Well, we're not gonna test it too hard. What I'm thinking is overexertion. I actually rock climb on my days off and I know that sometimes if you just overexert the same muscle group over and over while trying to perfect a certain move or whatever, it takes quite a while to heal. It takes two to three weeks. So what we're going to do is keep an eye on this. Um, at the height of the pain, would you pl where would you place it on a scale of 1 to 10? With 10 being unbearable pain, 1 being, you know, just a little pain. Okay, so, yeah, let's just keep an eye on it. Take some Tylenol or ibuprofen over the counter and shoot me a message if it gets any worse, okay? really smell that candle now, can you? It's really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna take a quick peek in your nose, okay? I'm just gonna pull up. This won't hurt at all. Okay, so I'm just looking in your nose here. Looks good. Looking in your nose here. Any trouble breathing or anything like that? Okay, you have a deviated septum. you snore? Uh, okay. Do you find that a problem? No? Okay. Well, in the future, if we ever want to look into solutions for that, just go ahead and shoot me a message, okay? Let's replace the tip here and look in your ears. How's your hearing? Any noticeable changes lately? Okay, so really quickly, this might be a little weird. I'm gonna go very quick. Okay, looks good. The other ear, just stay still for me. Alright, both look totally normal. A little waxed, but that's normal. Now, we're gonna do some hearing tests. It'll be quick, especially because you haven't had any trouble with hearing, right? Okay. Well, first, let me feel your ears. Is that okay? Any pain? When I press on them like this. All good. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is have you close your eyes. I'm going to make a sound with my hand in this, this ear, and I'm going to whisper a word in this ear, okay? Alright. And you tell me what that word is when we're, when I move away, okay? Coconut. Wonderful. Alright, again on this ear. Keep your eyes closed, please. Perfect. All right. Ears look good. If you ever do become concerned with your ears, you'll you'll go to a hearing specialist. But I think you are totally fine. All right. And now your eyes. Let's move on to your eyes. 
I have a bright light. I'm going to try very hard not to bother you too much with it. So what I'm going to have you do is just look at my shoulder and keep your head still. I'm going to look in this eye really quick. Okay. Okay. Yep. Looks really good. I'm going to pull up on this eyelid. Pull down. There we go. And other eye. Now look at this shoulder. What I need you to do now is look at my fingers and without moving your head, follow my fingers with your eyes. Good. One more time. Perfect. So Go ahead and stare straight ahead at me. I'm going to do what's called the swinging light test where I bounce this light from pupil to pupil, making sure that they react the same. Okay, perfect. Everything looks really good. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press on your eyes again. Just around it. Good. Now your mouth. Alright, so go ahead and say ah. Stick your tongue out. I'm just going to compress it and take a very quick look inside. There we go. Looks great. I know a lot of people worry about their breath and their ear cleanliness. I just want to say that doctors have seen everything. There is nothing that will surprise us or gross us out. Not that <laughs> anything that I've seen so far has grossed me out. I just know that's something I get comfort from is knowing how many people a doctor has seen and how much variation. So, you are totally fine and everything. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done. Any other concerns? Alright, let me write that down. Okay, so one more time. Okay, so you have a question about medication. Okay, yeah. I'm going to send you a full synopsis of the side effects of that medication, though I do highly recommend it if you're asking my personal opinion. I've seen a lot of improvement with, with many of my patients when they start that, even though in terms of symptoms, but long term, I think it is a very good choice. We can talk about that. Yeah, okay. So. Okay. All right, so I'll send you more information over that if you decide you would like to try it. I will send a prescription, an electronic prescription, over. Um, and you can head to your local pharmacy, whether that's a CVS or Walgreens, and they'll, they'll have it in stock for you as early as today. Do you want any time to think about it? Yeah? Okay. Do you know your nearest pharmacy? that pharmacy.
questions or concerns? Alright, perfect. Well, nothing of note came up during this physical. I would love to see you again in a year, but I understand if not. Okay, no pressure. And um, you will actually get an email after this appointment with a survey where you can recommend other ways that maybe we could improve the experience for, you know, people who have that medical anxiety. But you, you felt a little better than a normal doctor's, right? Great, great, okay. Let's see. get rid of isopropyl alcohol as like a wound cleaning. Pretty much any alcohol you can use to clean a wound is going to be a little smelly. So the hospital always kind of smells like that. So that's why we light the candle because we still want to use best practices and thoroughly clean every room after a patient. But the candle kind of helps a lot, right? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, well thank you so much for coming in. Again, I would love to see you again in a year. Though if you want to stop in again to talk about that medication, talk about any side effects if you do start that medication, it's all free again, okay? Well, you are a lovely, lovely patient. And until next time. Okay.